Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 6, so let's play Mario Gives Up 3, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, it's time for the next world, which is the Lotus Caves. Well, the first stage of the next world, rather. Oh, now I see what's called the Lotus Caves, because are these guys. Some of them are actually upside down. Don't know how they're able to get through with all the blood rushing through. Well, right, they're plants. Plants don't have blood. I don't know how they managed to stay upside down without the photosynthesis getting through their heads. Now that's one way to sound ignorant. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I pissed some people off just saying that even though I was facetious. Don't even try it. Or you. Gonna have to make use of these buzzy beetles. They're pretty much the best way to take care of these scumbags. Can't go on that pipe? Huh. I even have it there then. It's pointless. Figured you can't get in that one. But I can live with that. There. Buzzy Beetle did its job, now it can die as well. Okay, I see what I had to do. Um, can I go down here safely? I'm pretty sure I can. Just to get in that. I feel pretty bad if you miss the pipe, because then you see yourself likely to, to die. I don't know, was that necessary? Oh, probably just to get a trampoline. What would I need the trampoline for, then? Oh, okay. Oh, maybe I need the trampoline beyond this. Don't ask what I was thinking there. And because of where the power-up was, I lost it. Why do I still have this thing? Why was it even here? Uh, ooh. So far, it's not fulfilling a purpose. Oh, other than to get that. Why do they make it so troublesome just to get feathers in this game? Come on, just allow me to get them normally. Are there going to be some secrets that require you to get feathers? Because that seems pretty cheap if they're so scarce. Oh well, we'll try to make it work somehow. It's too bad I can't just give up feathers and just put them in storage, and then just retrieve them when you know you need a secret exit that needs a feather. It seems a bit inconvenient what they're doing right now. Oh my god, that one looks like it's floating. Okay, we should be done. We're done! Good! There, now we can move on to the next stage. The Dark Descent. Okay, I thought it would have something to do with amnesia. You know, that horror game. Huh. Some of these blocks don't even move. Okay, this is kind of creepy. Even the note blocks aren't even, are even going. You can't go through that. You just pass right through the things. Like the coins, rather. Like, you can't even pick them up. I bet you those are still spikes, though. So I'm not gonna take my chance on those. I can grab these. Yep, you can. Okay, I just noticed these fish are functioning like booze. Destroy those, good. Should I have like two capes? We'll try to get two capes. That's very rare. This music sounds a little epic. As if you're just in some dead world. Get out of my way. 
Nobody likes you. Uh, is it safe to go down here? Okay, well, that was just to get a coin. Oh, it's getting darker! Hang on a second. Okay, I'm back, so let's continue on here. Okay, so I can understand... Wow, that was bad. I can understand why they call this place the Dark Descent, because it's literally a descent that gets darker and darker. Darker than most Smash Bros. fanfiction. Apparently there's one other subspace emissary that's still ongoing. I don't like this at all. So I'm just gonna lure you out of the way. Can I get that mushroom? Thank you. Uh-huh. So far so good. It's not completely dark. Yet. But give it time. I don't understand how those uh, cheap cheeps can be ghosts or anything. Oh god, now it's really dark. Got to try to keep track. Okay, we're good. Oh, it just got darker again. I was like, did it just get brighter for some strange reason? I was like, nah. That's just a graphic glitch. <laughs> Okay, what happened? Oh, the castle's down here. As darkness falls. Oh, our actual water stage. Okay. I can deal with that. Probably gonna get a fire flower soon. I think this is the first time I've heard, like, a water stage with this kind of, wow, Donkey Kong Country music. DKC3. I did see another mushroom there. Yep. Okay, so Lockjaw is going to be a problem. That's a DKC2 enemy that apparently I don't know if I can even kill. Oh, God. What's making those sounds? Oh, that's what it is. Wait, how do you get through this guy? It's like you're just destined to Get killed! I don't know if our flowers can even work. Please help. Oh god. There's like so many of them. Okay. Hopefully that's the worst of it. I like this track in DKC3. Well, pretty much all the music in DKC3. Well, 1 through 3 was pretty awesome. Maybe if Donkey Kong Country Returns 3? I don't know if you can call it Don Donkey Kong Country Returns 3. Maybe Donkey Kong Country something something will have Kitty Kong in it? That would be pretty cool. You know, like, have every Kong from Tropical Freeze and that game, if ever it comes out for either the Wii U or the NX. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Either way, I'm going to play it. But I get an NX at that time, and that doesn't break upon arrival like my Wii U did, but that's neither here nor there. I would play the hell out of that game because I love the Donkey Kong Country series. It's an awesome franchise. Is there any reason to go this way? Notwithstanding anything important, but helpful. Oh god, this place gets darker too. Just, whoa, okay, now it's a bit too dark. I think I can get that. And I might as well try. I can pick out, like, parts of the, uh, the stone. Like, small edges. There we go. Hopefully not all the stages are gonna be this dark. That's going to be annoying if that's the case. Huh. I can go here. Oh, this is just a shortcut. Okay. Maybe if I want to go to a previous stage for power-ups. Oblivion Bridge. Next to Morrowind Avenue. And Skyrim Drive. Oh, the factory music from Final Fantasy VI. Yeah! Now that's a real good track that sadly you only get to hear in like one area.
let's never speak of that again, okay? <laughs> oh, I guess we're gonna go this way instead. What? I didn't think that could hurt ya. It looks so harmless. Oh, okay, I gotta make a better jump. There we go. Ugh, oof. Okay, this could legitimately be a hard level. Given all the jumping you'd have to do. Oh, this music brings back so many memories. Possibly one of my favorite games that I let's play, like, years ago. And only just now, this year, and, well, probably the end of the last year, but maybe by the time you're watching this, it'll be up in, uh, early 2016. So then it makes a little bit more sense. Then I'm only now doing the next Final Fantasy game after 6, which is, well, obviously 7. Why couldn't 6 get, like, another sequel? I mean, 13 had 2. And 3. I had to say it like that, because if I said, like, 2, no, there was, like, a 13, 3 as well. I said, that's what I meant. You know what? Screw it. God, this is actually pretty tough. Okay, we made it work somehow. Hopefully I'm not gonna miss out on, you know... Okay, that was dumb. I'm not gonna miss out on the checkpoint, as if that really matters. Go through a lot of trouble just for a checkpoint, I'm telling ya. That I'm probably not gonna take advantage of anyway. I guess we go... Down? Do we go down? Oh, okay, we, we go down here. Now it makes sense. God, almost everything blends in. Oh, oh, shoot, that was close. And all that electricity is gonna hurt you hard if it hits ya. Which you should not be trying to do anyway. Ugh. Okay, we're safe. Barely, though. Okay, I thought it was a bad idea, and then I realized, you know, we could have done this. Wait a minute, how the hell did we get up? That's bullshit, and you all know it. That was even worse. Do we go down? No? Can't use a bullet bill. Can't drop down there. I'm confused. Like, where do we go? There's nothing for me to jump on. Huh. Let me just try to go all the way back. Oh, that's what I did wrong. I needed a trampoline. How was I supposed to know that? Huh. That's what I get for cutting too far ahead. And now I know better. <laughs> okay. You got me, game. You got me. For now. But next time, I'll get the last laugh. When I'm completing all them special stages. Provided I get all the exits first, because apparently that's a criteria. To even do the stages. That squeaking noise is not necessary. Alright, secret exit level, flashlight friend. Am I gonna get squawks? No. I just get myself. Oh god. Why? Get out of the way, jerk ass. Thank God for our fireballs. They'll be the only reason I get through this stage. Now, it's just a matter of paying attention to where everything is. First and foremost, I would like to get all the coins. 
because if one level was any past indicator, I should try to get them all. Just for the sake of trying to get a secret exit. So I might need to do so in this world too, or this level. Alright, that's two. Oh, why can't the rest of the stage be this bright? Why did I do that? I just came from there. Uh, force the habit, I suppose. Ah, uh, you son of a brute. Okay, I saw a coin. Oh! That, that was dumb. Come on, I, I grabbed the coin last time. Okay, that's better. Okay, I see what I need to do. Time will tell to see if it was necessary to get the secret exit in the first place. Kind of, kind of hoping it is so my efforts aren't in vain. But I think I would just need to go left. Like, get in this pipe. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, let's see. Let me try that again. Because what if I just held right? It should be fine, right? Hmm. Oh, I can just pick it out. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, I guess we're not getting that exit at all. Despite my best efforts. So we don't have to get those coins, then. That was dumb, and you know it. And we should be clear. Alright. So we'll come back to this stage once we get the blue switch. God, why does it make that squeaking noise? And we'll do Castle 5. Oh, it's that kind of stage. Alright, well, oh, it's slippery. I was not given any indication that this would be slippery. It's not even a nice world. That makes no sense! But apparently it does now. Okay, I'm back yet again. There's just another mild interruption. So, uh, Merry Christmas to you all. I'm actually recording this on Christmas Day. So hopefully you had a very awesome Christmas, just like I did. Well, am, rather, because it's still ongoing. Wow, that was bad. Okay, let's sh try that again without taking a hit. I think I would need to do this. That seemed like the only way I'd be able to pull that off. But yeah, I'm just gonna wait a while before I actually play Xenoblade Chronicles X, because, well... Most anticipated game, of course it's worth the wait. Just gotta make it worth it. Also, I'm too busy recording some of this stuff for you guys. Hey, it may be Christmas Day, but I don't stop recording. Like, Bong is always at work, let me tell ya. <laughs> Alright, so... We gotta be very careful here. I right, wait for this to go back before I can get up. Hopefully that will not take too long. I don't really get much else for Christmas. Like, I mean, I got gift cards, clothes, money. Uh, I got like a top 500 wrestlers courtesy of PWI, which is going to be pretty awesome. I never opened it yet, but hopefully Seth Rollins won. And in case people already revealed it by the time this video is up, I mean, don't spoil it for me. I mean, chances are I probably would have had it read by now, but I hope to God Seth Rollins got at least three different rankings, including number one. He had pretty much the best year out of them all, as far as I'm concerned. Don't get me wrong, I like Roman Reigns, but he didn't exactly have that great of a year, even though he should have been champion by WrestleMania. Let's be honest. I still would have liked Seth Rollins to win the title, but well, okay, that was a dumb idea. But not yet. Maybe win it from Reigns. That would have been cool. Did not know you were actually supposed to bounce to the right. To be fair, it was a bit of a blind jump. This segment's actually pretty long. Like, a lot 
lot of stuff you have to like jump up to get to, and we only now we're seeing the checkpoint. Okay, I gotta put in work to get through this stage. There's a door over here, isn't there? No? Oh. Don't think I'm gonna bother to get that one up, actually. Oh god. This looks frightening. Wait. Okay, the water is icy. Okay, I could get through that. Ugh. There we go. This stuff's gonna scroll up and down too, isn't it? Sparkies are basically functioning like- What?! Oh. That's what it was. They just came from underneath. That's a bit of a cheap hit. That should not have happened. Strike that from the record books, I'm telling ya. Even though I'm actually not rewinding it to take it back. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Uh, uh. Oh, my God. Imagine, like, playing hacks without save states or rewinds, and you have to get to this part. This really tests your skills. You gotta put in some work to get through this part. Okay, we got Roy. Huh, Roy's not our boy, let me tell ya. You can't jump on him, like, uh, each time? Why are their heads so bouncy? Okay, you can do it. I just had bad timing. Let's see how far you can go. And one more. Gotcha. Yeah! Roy is dead. Temporarily, at least. <laughs> that was a pretty tough level. I'm not gonna lie. Mario, you've been to the same song and dance for years. Don't stand next to a thing you blew up. This castle in the sunniest of caves now, for some reason, was defeated by Mario and his defective TNT. One more stage to go until the sun is visible again. That will be good. That spelling of visible was not good, by the way. But close! Differences. Okay, well, that was spelled right. And this has two exits, apparently. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Anyways, I'll take care of that in the next part. Goodbye, everyone.